जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय गोपी जन बल्लभा गिरिवर धारी जय गोपी जन बल्लभा गिरिवर धारी यशोदा नंदन ब्रजजन रंजन यशोदा नंदन ब्रजजन रंजन यमुना तीरावन चारी न यमुना तीरावन चारियम जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय गोपी जन बल्लभा गिरिवर धारी यशोदा नंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यमुना तीरावन चारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 जय राधा गिरिधारी राधा गिरिधारी राधे श्री श्री राधा गिरिधारी राधा गिरिधारी श्री राधे राधा गिरिधारी 
नित्य गौरा हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल नित्य गौरा हरि बोल नित्य गौरा हरि बोल हरि बोल जया जया प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद जय जया प्रभु पाद श्री राधा गिरधारी की जय श्री श्री गौर नताय की जगन्नाथ बलदेव सुभद्रा महारानी की जय शिला प्रभुपाद की जय अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की नेताय गौर प्रेम नंदे हरि हरि बोल I also got to know late yesterday. That's <laughs> okay. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोतम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर नष्ट प्रायेशु अभद्रेशु नित्यम भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तमा श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नैष्टिकी कृष्णाय वासुदेवाय देवकी नंदनाय च नंद गोपकुमाराय गोविंदय नमो नम नमो पंकजनाभाय नमो पंकजमालिने नमो पंकजनेत्राय नमस्ते पंकजांग्रहे रीडिंग फ्रॉम कैंटो सेवन चैप्टर फोर टेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी फोर अविराभूत वाणी आरूप मेघ निश्वान सन्नादायती काकुभ साधुना अभयंकरी तमिराभुदवाणी अरूपा मेघ निश्वना सनादयती काकुभ साधुना अभयंकरी तमिराभुदवाणी अरूपा मेघ निस्वना सन्नादयती काकुभ साधु नाम भयंकरी तेशाम अभिराभुदवाणी अरूप मेघा निश्वना सन्नादयती काकुब साधु नाम भयंकरी तेशाम अभिर्बुदवाणी ूपमेघनीस्वना 
प्रतीक को ಭಯಂಕರಿಷಾರವಿರುಭುಧ್ವಾಣಿ ಸನಾದಯಂತಿ ಕಾಕುಬಾಧುನಾಮ in front of all of them avirabhut appeared vani a voice arupa without a form megha nishwana resounding like the sound of a cloud sanna dayanti causing to vibrate kakuba all directions sadhu naam of the saintly persons abhayankari driving away the fearful situation translation by shila prabhupad then there appeared before them a transcendental sound vibration emanating from a personality not visible to material eyes the voice was as grave as the sound of a cloud and it was very encouraging driving away all fear text 2526 the voice of the lord vibrated as follows o best of the learned persons do not fear i wish all good fortune to you become my devotees by hearing and chanting about me and offering me prayers for these are certainly meant to award benedictions to all living entities I know all about the activities of Hiranyakashipu and shall surely stop them very soon. Please wait patiently until that time. Purport. Sometimes people are very much eager to see God. In considering the word mad darshanam, seeing me, which is mentioned in this verse, one should note that in Bhagavad Gita the Lord says bhaktya mama bhi janati. In other words, the ability to understand the supreme personality of godhead or to see him or talk with him depends on one's advancement in devotional service which is called bhakti in bhakti there are nine different activities shravanam kirtanam vishnu smaranam pad sevanam archanam vandanam dasyam sakhyam atmanivedanam because all these devotional activities are absolute there is no fundamental difference between worshiping the deity in the temple seeing him and chanting his glories indeed all of these are ways of seeing him for everything done in devotional service is a means of direct contact with the lord the vibration of the lord's voice appeared in the presence of all the devotees and although the person vibrating the sound was unseen to them they were meeting or seeing the lord because they were offering prayers 
and because the vibration of the lord was present contrary to the laws of the material world there is no difference between seeing the lord offering prayers and hearing the transcendental vibration pure devotees therefore are fully satisfied by glorifying the lord such glorification is called kirtana performing kirtana and hearing the vibrations of the sound hare krishna is actually seeing the supreme personality of godhead directly one must realize this position and then one will be able to understand the absolute nature of the lord's activities om agyan timirandhasya gyananjana shalakaya chakshurun militam yena tasmay shri gurave namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishnam Sthapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yuta Padakamalam Shri Guru Unvaishnavamsya Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sagana Raghunathan Vitam Tam Sajeevam साधवैतम सावधूत परिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य श्रीराधाकृष्णपादगणलिता श्री विशाखाता हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधु जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचना गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाचकलपतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ पतितना पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नमः नम ओं विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण प्रेष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति स्वामी निति नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चातिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण सीकिंग ऑल ऑफ योर ब्लेसिंग्स सो दैट वी कैन सर्व श्रीमद भागवतम टुडे फ्रॉम कैंटो सेवन चैप्टर फोर एंड टेक्स ट्वेंटी फोर एंड Twenty-five, twenty-six. So, in this chapter, just to give a no quick background, this chapter is entitled "Hirana Kashipu Terrorizes the Universe." So, as we know that Hirana Kashipu uh, had obtained power from Lord Brahma, and uh, <clears throat> he wanted to harass all the living entities spe- specifically all the brahmanas he wanted to destroy the brahmanas the the places where they do sacrifices all the temples and everything and uh, he continued to be envious of lord vishnu also so but then in this case what happened is that all the demigods uh they were praying all the brahmanas were praying and they cursed hiranyakashipu with determination they cursed him uh, because he was causing so much havoc in the society and uh, all the living entities within the universe represented by the demigods and sages prayed to the supreme lord for relief from hiranyakashipu's r- rule so basically in this 24th verse very beautifully shila prabhupada has explained the word verse uh he says that the voice was as grave as the sound of a cloud and it was very encouraging driving all fear so in this verse 
uh, there is the sound vibration of the lord that is coming from the sky when all these brahmans are you know praying and uh, the voice was grave as the sound of a cloud and it was very encouraging so if you see in the uh, sanskrit there is this verse sadhu naam abhayankari so sadhu naam is translated as saintly person and abhay abhayankari means driving away all the fearful situations so the voice was encouraging and it drove away all the fears so these are two important uh, things that are there so i just want to uh, extend on this and also in the next verse 24 and 25 it is mentioned about darshanam darsh mad darshanam means seeing the lord seeing the lord face to face so we'll describe on these two uh, topics in today's discussion so as we know that whatever we are doing these activities in the temple you know morning program or we go for yatras you know in kartik lot of our devotees we go to yatras in vrindavan or mayapur or jagannath puri all these are to encourage us or to enthuse us you know into our devotional services so um there is this very important uh, word called prachodayat it comes in the gayatri mantras which also means to inspire you know so the whole point of the saintly persons and of uh, all those who are in devotional life or even not in devotional life even professional life people are trying to encourage each other to accomplish certain goal certain task so so here also this voice of the lord was very encouraging to all the brahmins to all the devotees that was there so for encouragement i also went this year for kartik yatra in india it was in jagannath puri and uh, i was missing san diego little bit and then jadubar prabhu you know who's shila prabhupada disciple he made lot of movies about prabhupada and one movie was some clips from that movie were displayed so there were like 10000 devotees so it was impossible for you know everybody to see like on the stage so there were like big big screens at different places so some part can see that screen other part can see that screen and when he was showing the video i saw his grace dravida prabhu you know he his video was there he was doing some typewriting he was quite young in that uh, video <laughs> and then i asked him the other day <laughs> so dravida prabhu was explaining it was it was just a dramatization of him typing it when he made the movie yeah this was the lady case so you know yeah you can take the mic yeah Early days in the in the uh, in the seventies, he was making all these movies about Iskon, and that was like maybe the second or third one he made, and it was just a dramatization of how the books are produced. And so I I wasn't actually working in the press as as I was working in the press, but not as a typist. But um, I don't know maybe the way I, I looked like a typist, but they they had me you know transcribing because there was a lot of transcribing, so I was transcribing, and it was maybe a few seconds, you know. So I was I was acting. and uh we had other devotees who took different roles you know and everything and after uh after him i saw another clip of his holiness badri narayan swami maharaj you know he was in the govardhan eco village and there was a video recorded in govardhan eco village he was speaking about sustainable living and farm communities that shila prabhupad wanted so it was short clip so i had darshan of both of them in the jagannath puri dham <laughs> so that was very encouraging for me and uh, another another incident that happened was uh, that encouraged me about the uh, devotional life was i met one very big business leader there from india he was like a multi billionaire in india and he i told him i am from san diego and i had i had one small meeting with him few years back but then i introduced myself and he was very happy to meet and then he said he did come to san diego in the 1980s i said what was the reason for your visit and he mentioned that uh, he and his brother were big alcoholics and uh, he got his brother here to san diego in the scripps uh, hospital because scripps had some branch of you know alcohol and alcoholic anonymous or whatever for rehab 
so he got him here and he was admitted his brother was admitted and uh, while he was admitted he said he used to also come to the temple he started coming to the temple that time only because he was just trying to relate to life what's going on and uh, and he said my brother couldn't be cured and he left his body and he said that was the point where i understood the significance of krishna consciousness and then he said uh, sometimes it takes you know uh, hard lessons in life to understand something so he said uh, and then i seriously took to krishna consciousness and he said this is the first temple that he started visiting here so i was very happy to hear that <laughs> hmm? so it is you were there in the 80s too right i see i see yeah so sometimes you know uh it takes some toll on us to understand the importance of devotional service and uh, it's it's such a such a beautiful place this temple this morning we are all chanting dancing together and prabhu was telling in one of his bhagavad gita class this is like a oasis you know this temple and devotees are practicing devotional life here and once they are habituated to using to to that life even if they go somewhere out they'll still continue that so this is like a practice ground where throughout their life they can continue with these uh, habits of getting up early in the morning chanting the rounds uh, reading shrimad bhagavatam discussing on shrimad bhagavatam eating prasadam such a beautiful nice life and uh, and it is so rare you know this human life is so rare and this devotional life is so rare that we see only so many so few people here in the morning right so um what is the quality of something which is rare if something is very rare what is that quality the quality is uh it is very precious not everybody gets that just like on the pacific ocean you have so many sand particles so there is no value of those that sand particle you know nobody cares about it but imagine if you replace it with say diamonds then it will have so much value right and there is no sand then probably sand will have more value than diamonds <laughs> so similarly this human life is so rare uh that we do not understand how rare it is so so it is important to utilize this uh in that way in this text it is uh said that before the lord actually appeared or his voice appeared not he himself uh, all the brahmanas were very dissatisfied with hirana kashipu and they cursed him with determination they didn't curse him just like that they cursed him with determination So similarly if you think about the rivers if the brahmanas or the guru blesses us then how much powerful it is and it can save us from the biggest dangers so in uh, in one of the scriptures it is mentioned yasya deve para bhaktir yatha deve tatha guru tasya ti kathitam hi artha prakashante mahatmana only unto those great souls who have implicit faith in both the lord and the spiritual master are all the imports of the vedic knowledge revealed automatically this is in shwetavsar upanishad yat so, yasya deve para bhakti yatha deve tatha guru so if we have implicit faith in the supreme personality of godhead shri shri, shri radha giridhari as well as guru brahmanas devotees then what happens all the scriptures are revealed to us all the imports the essence of the scriptures is actually revealed to us so it is very important to get those blessings of the brahmanas of our gurus you know only then we can understand these things we can understand what the holy name is how it is non different from krishna so and then further it is stated in shwetav sar upanishad that tushyam sarva bhutanam guru shushushraya taranti agyo bhavar navam simply by rendering service to the spiritual master one crosses the ocean of nescence and returns home back to godhead thus he gradually sees the supreme lord face to face 
and enjoys life in association with the lord so in the second verse if you see it says mad darshanam hi bhutanam and then shila prabhupad actually translates mad darshanam as hearing and chanting he doesn't translate as like seeing face to face he says uh hearing and chanting instead of seeing me darshanam actually means seeing but prabhupad translates as hearing and chanting because why is it so because prabhupad mentions that hearing about krishna or chanting about krishna is non different than actually seeing krishna all are the same things and how how it can be confirmed is it can be confirmed by this verse in chaitanya charitamrit uh, madhya leela 17133 it's quoted from padma purana it says naam chinta mani krishna chaitanya ras vigraha purna shuddho nitya mukto abhinatva naam namino there is no difference between the name and the named so between krishna the supreme personality and the name there is no difference so when krishna comes as a rock in this world he comes as govardhan hill when krishna comes as water he comes as mother ganga yamuna and radha kund sham kund when krishna comes as ink and paper he comes as shrimad bhagavatam is the representation of krishna and when he comes in the form of sound vibration krishna comes as the holy name the chanting of the holy name the kirtan that we are describing kirtan doesn't only means chanting or uh, hearing kirtan also means the the scriptures the shlokas the verses shrimad bhagavatam reading hearing that is also kirtan and <clears throat> when we are talking about the sound vibration that uh, it is described here hearing and chanting so we can understand that sound is one of the eight external energies of krishna so in bhagavad gita if you remember that verse uh, what is that bhumi aponal vayu khamman buddhi revicha ahankarati yam me bhinna prakriti ashtadha so krishna says that all these earth air water fire ether are my external energies so in that one of the energies is also what is that ether sky and sound is emanated from that you know sound is one of the energies of krishna and sound vibrations is krishna manifest through the holy name through his names like krishna ram hare you know all these different oh my lord you have millions of name but i am so unfortunate that i am not able to chant them नाम नाम कारी बहुदा निज सर्वशक्ति तत्रा पिता नियमित स्मरण न काला एकादृशी तव कृपा भगवान मामा भी दुर्दैवा मे दृशम इह जनी ना अनुरागा यू नो कृष्णा इज मैनिफेस्टिंग सो मेनी डिफरेंट रेज ही इज सो मर्सीफुल ही इज मेकिंग हिमसेल्फ अवेलेबल थ्रू द साउंड वाइब्रेशंस एंड एंड हाउ कैन कृष्णा बी अंडरस्टूड कृष्णा के नॉट बी अंडरस्टूड बाय जस्ट बाय रीडिंग द स्क्रिप्चर्स येस दैट इज दैट इज गुड बट इन द भगवद गीता कृष्ण से इस भक्त्या माम अभी जानाती यावन यश्च अश्मी तत्वता तत्व माम तत्व तो ज्ञातवा विशते तद अनंतरम सो इस भक्त्या माम अभी जान ओनली बाय डिवोशन सब्जर्व इज भक्ति विथ लव एंड डिवोशन यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड मी एंड देन इस इज इफ यू ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड मी इन ट्रूथ देन विशते तद अनंतरम विशते मीन्स टू एंटर देन यू कैन एंटर इन टू माई अंडरस्टैंडिंग इन टू माई रेलम सो टू एंटर sometimes the impersonalist kind of make a wrong understanding of you know entering into krishna's abode because there are two kind of transcendentalists one is the personalists who think that the ultimate goal is the brahma jyoti you know and transcendentalist means one who transcends birth and death so they also transcend birth and death uh, but they think that uh, uh, the brahma jyoti is the ultimate perfection of liberation right second transcendentalists are the devotees or the bhakti yogis so bhakti yogis understand that uh, brahmeti parmatmeti bhagwan eti shabdyate that there are the supreme personality of godhead manifest in three different forms as a brahman all pervading as brahma jyoti parmatmeti as uh, the parmatma within the heart and bhagwan eti swayam uh, bhagwan personality of godhead so three different manifestations are there 
So when this verse says that vishate tad anantaram, so it gives an example, Prabhupada gives an example of a bird that goes into the tree and sits a green, a green tree. So when the bird goes and sits on the tree, it doesn't go to sit there and become one with the tree. But it goes there to enjoy the fruits of the tree. And similarly, the impersonist give the example of a river flowing into the ocean, that when a river flows into the ocean, it get mi gets mixed, right? But that is only on the surface level understanding. But in the river, there are aquatics also. When the aquatics go into the ocean, they have their own identity. So personalists keep this you know, personal individuality of an aquatic. So surface acquaintance is not sufficient. And uh, as we know that in Brahma Samhita, there is a verse, Advaitam Achyutam Manade Mananta Rupam Adyam Purana Purusham Navayavanam Cha Vedeshu Durlabham Adurlabham Atma Bhaktao Govinda Madi Purusham Tamaham Bhajami So Vedeshu Durlabham Adurlabham Atma Bhaktao So it is very Durlab, just by Vedic studies. Durlab means very difficult. And Ardurlabham, Atma Bhakta means Adurlab, it is, it is very easy. If somebody is a Bhakta, it becomes very easy for Krishna to, to be understood. And then <clears throat> to see Krishna, we need those eyes. Premanjana Churita Bhakti Vilochanena. If we have those eyes, we can actually do that Madh Darshanam. We can actually see Krishna. And the qualification is simply love. Uh, so Prabhupada says in one of the purports, simply you are loving so many things that is not giving you satisfaction. You try to develop your love which is already dormant in you and when you are efficient in loving God, you will see God face to face. And sometimes you feel, oh this is so inconceivable, how is this possible? But if you see around us, everything is so inconceivable. You know. From the time we open our eyes to sleep, until we sleep, what's happening inside our bodies to outside, it's actually inconceivable. How things are happening, what's the intention behind those. So science is only studying what's happening, just describing those things. But they cannot actually replicate or uh, create those things. It's very difficult. So. Yeah, so I just wanted to also share this, that uh, the devotees, in this it is says that, that the Lord is very encouraging. So similarly, the devotees are also encouraging and they are also suhurdam uh, sarva bhutanam. They are like friends to everybody. Like Srila Prabhupada, when he would sign his letter, he would, says, he would say, uh, you are ever well-wisher. You are ever well-wisher. It's Ever means forever. It's not just for today and tomorrow. And ever it's like physically, emotionally, spiritually, all in all aspects, Srila Prabhupada is a well-wisher. And he sacrificed everything to bring us closer to the Lord. Um, <clears throat> and the reason is that all of us are actually, the whole world is attracted towards so many different things which are not related to Krishna. All the existence is based on this attraction. If you see the economy, it is based on the attraction of accumulating wealth, thinking that, okay, accumul accumulating wealth will give them happiness, right? And so much of consumerism that if I consume something, it will give me happiness. There is a gravitational attraction, gravitational perspective. And, but who's the most att attractive? Krishna is the most attractive. Even Mahavishnu and Karano Dakshai Vishnu, they are longing to see Krishna. Although they are like uh, Krishna himself, this is Achinte Bheda Bhed Tattva, but they also want to see the beauty of Krishna. He's so beautiful. So, If, if you actually see uh, the soul, you know, there's a spark of Krishna, the soul. So there are so many souls right now sitting here. It's like one ten thousand, the part of the tip of the hair, you know. But this soul can do so much. It can actually create empires. A soul in an elephant can rip off like big trees, 
right? Can manage the whole temple. <laughs> so many great things can be done, right? So it just gives a, uh, a trailer of how powerful the soul can be. Nityo nitya naam chetana chetana naam. So, but you know, living entities get entangled in karma and reactions of this world. And the, the, the most attractive thing is actually to surrender to Krishna, to love Krishna. So, so let us not be distracted, keep our focus on what is eternal, what is the real attraction. And, and that, that is devotion to Krishna and Krishna himself. Because there are so many things which will distract us and um, try to convince us that yes, that is the right thing. But uh, there will be so many justifications to be like everyone else and uh, to be under the control of egoism. So much of peer pressure it starts from middle school, high school. You know, kids have peer pressure. <laughs> and it continues till <laughs> adult and old age of friends and relatives. So it's very uh, Maya means to forget Krishna through his energies. Um, so one of the attractive feature which I, I, I felt in my Yatra was in Vrindavan. Uh, we visited, I have also met some ISV devotees there, so we went together to Nandagaon. In Nandagaon there is this Uddhav Kyari. Has anyone been to Uddhav Kyari? Nandagaon? No? In Nandagaon there is a like pond that is called Uddhav Kyari. Uddhav as we know is the disciple of Braspati, very good friend of Krishna. Sometimes Krishna will give him his clothes, you know, he's so dear that he will resemble Krishna. And people will know, okay, he's wearing Krishna's clothes, so he's the authorized, you know, messenger, like that. So in that Uddhav Kyari, what happened is that Srimati Radharani was surrounded by all the Sakhis and all the gopis, and Uddhav was also there, and Uddhav saw like all the torrents of rain coming from Srimati Radharani's eyes in loving separation from Krishna, because Krishna went to Mathura by that time. So. In that separation, she would uh, fall down and she will faint. And because of that fever of separation, the pond which was filled with her tears, she will go into that pond and that will dry up with that fever. So, so this this story was told by Srila Gaur Govind Swami Goswami Maharaj, uh, and which was told by Rupa Goswami. So when she fainted, she looked at a crow, you know, flying in the sky. And she told the crow that, uh, are you going to Mathura? And then she said that if you are going to Mathura, then please give this message to Krishna in Mathura. And tell Krishna that if a house is on fire, then the first and foremost responsibility of the owner of the house is to free the domestic animals, right? If you have calves, goat and stuff like that in the house, then you free them. Uh, and then save them from being burnt alive. So she said that my body is like that house. And when Krishna left Vrindavan, went to Mathura, he set my body or this house on fire. And the animal within my body is my soul. And, uh, but I cannot, the, the soul cannot escape from the burning body. And the reason is, what is the reason? Yeah, she said there is a bolt on that door of that house. And what is that bolt? Is the promise, yes, Govardhan Prabhu is right, is the promise that Krishna will return back. And therefore, I cannot give up my life. I'm just waiting for that day to come. So please tell Krishna to come back and release that, you know, my prana from my body, to release that promise. So I like this story, a very beautiful story. And uh, in this 24th verse, uh, Srila Prabhupada says that uh, I wish to uh, become my devotees by hearing and chanting about me and offering me prayers, for these are certainly meant to award benediction to all living entities. So Prabhupada is translating in this uh, verse that uh, the Lord is saying, and become my devotees by hearing and chanting about me. So when we talk about hearing and chanting, there is a beautiful verse that comes in, Updesha Amrit, or Nectar of Instruction. Does anyone know that verse? Syat Krishna Naam Charitadi Sita Pia Vidya. Seventh 
I don't know the full one. Do you know? Can you chant? Do you want to chant? Okay. So that's a beautiful verse in the Nectar of Instruction by Rupa Goswami. The translation is, the holy name, character, pastimes, and activities of Krishna are all transcendentally sweet like sugar candy. Although the tongue of one afflicted by the jaundice of avidya ignorance cannot taste anything sweet, it is wonderful that simply by carefully chanting these sweet names every day, a natural relish awakens within his tongue and his disease is gradually destroyed at the root. And then in the purport, Srila Prabhupada um, goes on to explain that there are you know, three stages of chanting the holy name. So one is the offensive stage, like uh, offenses, the ten offenses we have. Second is the stage of lessening offenses, where offenses are lessened. And third stage is the pure stage. So these are the three stages of chanting. And uh, when a neophyte takes to the chanting of Hare Krishna mantra, he generally commits many offenses. There are ten basic offenses, and that if the devotee avoids these, he can glimpse the next stage, which is situated between offensive and pure chanting. When one attains the pure stage, he is immediately liberated. This is called Bhav Mahadavagni Nirvapanam. As soon as one is liberated from the blazing fire of material existence, he can relish the taste of transcendental life. So, so yes, by constantly chanting, uh, one can taste actually the sweetness of the holy names of the Lord. Um, and avoiding the Ten offenses. So that way, uh, we can we can continue to chant and uh, grow spiritually. So to end with, I just want to share one poetry of Dravida Prabhu. One line. It's very. I like that. Very nice. Uh, it says that uh, sense pleasure is a dream. Krishna is supreme. Aim is aim is prem, and goal is. The holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare. So it sums everything, you know, Sambandha. I'm the editor. I'm the editor and you made a mistake, so I have to fix it. Yes. <laughs> Since pleasure is a dream, Krishna is supreme, the aim is the aim is prem and the way is the name. The way is the name. The way is the name. I think we should print some t shirts with that. It would be nice. <laughs> Yes. No, I I'm done. Oh. Yeah. Comments or questions or reflections? Yes, Prabhu. Thank you so much, Prabhu, for, for coming back and giving a nice lecture. You were speaking about how the Shil Prabhupada is is um, very dear to everyone. He's a best friend, and he would sign his letters. You best well wisher, you ever well wisher. And um, I have a question ab ab about. Uh, we know that Shil Prabhupada is. Uh, our Acharya, and he has created our good fortune. We're indebted to Srila Prabhupada. <laughs> but uh, why is that uh, that we feel such a tremendous attraction for Srila Prabhupada, even though we've never met Srila Prabhupada? And the similar example is, uh, for instance, uh, Jesus Christ and Christianity. So maybe if you could uh, elaborate on this. Why do we feel so much attraction to Prabhupada? Yeah, if we never met Srila Prabhupada. Mm. I think Dravida Prabhu can answer that because he met Srila Prabhupada. <laughs> <laughs> he can. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, you should tell Prabhu that why you feel so attraction to Prabhupada. What are your reasons? There's, uh, well, for instance, of course, we we understand that uh, we can we can follow instructions, and by following instructions, we become um, attached and attracted to Srila Prabhupada. That's one thing that I can say. Correct. Yeah, I mean, definitely I agree with you. Some of the reasons I can think is obviously Srila Prabhupada, through his instruction, through his inspiration, he has uh, imparted to his disciples, like, you know, His Grace Dravida Prabhu Maharaj, that they have created such beautiful communities that we are part of it now, you know, and when we live in those communities, we feel the same inspiration that everybody is carrying that same torch of um, being our well-wishers. You know? So when we are surrounded by uh, those people, when we feel that love you know, that, and compassion that Srila Prabhupada has, so we feel indebted to him. 
because actually this is Guru Parampara. It is coming through Prabhupada, through his disciples, through all the devotees in the communities. So that is why, you know, we feel so indebted and so grateful to him. This temple, the programs, the books, the all these book distribution, prashadam, so many different aspects. So, and our gurus, our teachers, you know, they are actually the gift of Prabhupada. So if we love our guru, if we love our teachers, then automatically we we transfer that love to Srila Prabhupada. It's all connected. So, and like Srila Prabhupada is a preeminent Acharya, he's the founder Acharya. So that's a very good thing that, you know, we should feel indebted and... Um, and because we feel so much love, because actually Prabhupada is connected to Krishna. That's the thing. And our soul is also Nitya Nitya Naam Chetana Chetana. So we are also part and parcel of Krishna. So anything that connects us to Krishna, we will automatically feel loved. Right? So, yeah, all these purports and translation Prabhupada has told that all these are not his translations. It's actually Krishna's it's coming through his guru, through his inspiration to Krishna. So that is why we feel so empowered. And as it is coming down, it becomes more and more condensed and more and more powerful through the Guru Parampara, you know. Contextual and contemporary and, you know, current affairs and issues are solved with those, um, with those purports. Then we feel more blissful and more energized when we apply that and see the advantage in our life. Yeah. So anyone else wants to comment? Then? Dravida Prabhu wants to. In the song we sing every day, Shri Guru Chadana Rati Ese Yutamagati, uh, you, you know, uh, attraction for the lotus feet of the spiritual master. And once, I'm going to translate, this is, that's the ultimate goal, because Gati can mean goal, or mm -hmm. it's the best way to achieve the goal. So I was also reminded, because I, sometimes I look at these uh, either Prabhupada remembrances or following Srila Prabhupada, you know, they're really wonderful. And I, I, I remember there was, it was recounting, I think it was Tamal Krishnamaraj, was recounting, you know, those final days and uh, that, that whole pastime, many of you are familiar with, where Prabhupada wanted to go on Parakram. Yeah. You know, but he had, his body had become so thin and, and it was very fragile and, and delicate. And the doctors were saying, oh, he, you know, because a bullock cart, you know, the roads, it'd be so rough, such a rough ride that he wouldn't last more than 10 minutes, you know. So that's what the doctors were saying. And, and some devotees were saying, well, Prabhupada really wants to go. We should follow his, uh, his, his order. But Tamal and some others, I think Bhavananda came in. They, they came to Prabhupada, and it was getting to be, uh, I think, right before Govardhan Puja. Wasn't it? I think that's, you know, it was about the same time, yeah. and he was wanting to go on Govardhan Puja. So anyway, um, they were crying, and they were pleading with Prabhupada to please give up that idea and, and agree that he didn't want to go, because the doctors were all saying it would be, you know, he wouldn't might be able to do it anyway. But. So one of the Prabhupada said, and, that, and then at one point they said, Prabhupada, we, we, we are, you know, our love for you is just so uh, intense that this is causing us such great pain to feel, to, to contemplate your going and suffering on there, you know. So Prabhupada said something very interesting at that point. He said, yes, this is my duty to increase your love for me. Oh. So when you think about it, you know, Prabhupada has given us, you know, when you think of it, he's given us life, you know. If you, th if you just try to subtract Krishna Kainit from your life, you realize well, it's just empty, you know, it's just disastrous. Yes. So giving us all of these gifts, everything here, the paintings, the temple, the holy name, you know, he's, he came specifically to give us these invaluable gifts out of compassion, out of his love for humanity at large, you know, and, and so naturally it's uh, when you, and everything, you know, when you come to this temple, if you look at it, it's, it everything is connected to Prabhupada. You know, in other words, it wouldn't exist if it wasn't for him. His, his murti is right here, the deities. So, so you, if you're appreciating Krishna consciousness, you're of course going to really appreciate the person who made it possible for you to have Krishna consciousness. So that's 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 the uh, the way that these you know even present generations, the future generations can still have will have affection for Srila Prabhupada, realizing his 
sacrifice, you know, what he went through to, to help us. I mean, naturally, anybody who did that and to give us the most valuable thing in existence, you know. So it's, it's a natural thing and it's very healthy for, for uh, your devotional service. Yeah. Because, you know, that inspires you. Oh, these are Prabhupada's books, you know, and they can, I'm giving them Prabhupada to these people and they can also be saved, you know. So it's, it's a whole dynamic thing that's going on. Just want to add, Srila Prabhupada was asked, how can we repay you? I think you might have heard the answer, right? So Prabhupada says, by accepting what I have given you and sharing with others. So if we love Prabhupada, then we accept what we are getting and also sharing with others. <laughs> so devotional life is actionable. It's all action. <laughs> accept and share. Thank you, Prabhupada. Any, anything, any reflections or anything? Yes. This peon, peon to Prabhupada, it's called a little, you know, it's a song, P-A-E-O-N, you can look it up. And it's right, it's posted back there as the mission statement of the BBT. Okay. Oh, Prabhupada, we hail the day when you appear just like a ray of Krishna's vast effulgence bright to give this blind world back its sight. We thank you from the bottom of our heart and pray with deepest love that we may serve your lotus feet in every circumstance we meet. As years go by and books go out, we see that life is all about to serve your mission and our Lord's by spreading wide your sacred words. As well, you want us all to strive to let those words direct our lives. This safest path will lead us home, no more in Maya's realm to roam. So you can teach that to your kids. Yes. They, can, they come here and recite it, and everyone in the heart will melt. Oh. Yes. Thank you so much for sharing that, Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Srila Prabhupada ki jai, Anantagoti Vaishnava Vrindaki jai.